we'll all recall that we examined a number of Jesus' miracles, and I think it was, I think we'll all agree with this as well, it was a, a very rich study and, and one that was very inspiring. The book of John, as we know, focuses on a number of, of Jesus' miracles. Even though these supernatural occurrences took place more than 2,000 years ago, they still provide us today with some very important spiritual principles that I think encourage us and, and help us to grow stronger in our faith as Christians. <clears throat> For example, if we think about disappointments or, or times of extreme distress, uh, we might remember when Jesus in John chapter 2 addressed what was potentially a very embarrassing situation in the wedding in Cana uh, by turning water into wine. Well, they called on Jesus when they needed help, and he's still the one to turn to when life turns on us. Uh, Paul said in 2 Timothy chapter 4 and verses 16 and 17, at my first defense, no one stood with me, but all forsook me. But the Lord stood with me and strengthened me. He still stands with us today. He stands with us and he strengthens us even today. What about doubts in our faith? I think you may remember in John chapter 4 when Jesus, from a distance, healed a boy and told his father, who was a nobleman, to return home. And the man went home without question. A great, great statement of faith on the part of this man. This Jesus who inspired this man's faith is still the one in whom we can place our faith and our trust as Christians. After all, he's Christ, the hope of glory, as we read in Colossians 1 and verse 27. Take disabilities that we may encounter in our lives, sometimes that beset us. In, in John chapter 5, we know that Jesus healed a man who had been an invalid uh, for 38 years. Today, because of Jesus' loving providence and his care over us, we can still, quote, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might, as we read in Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 10. We know that Ephesians, that Philippians chapter 4, 13 assures us, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Think also about the desires and the needs that we experience in this life. You might remember in, in John chapter 6 that Jesus fed uh, more than 5,000 people with what amounted to what we today might refer to as a boy's sack lunch. Jesus still finds the, fills the spiritual desires of men and women today. Women who, men and women who cry for to me to live as Christ and to die as gain, as we read in Philippians 1 and verse 21. Do we ever find ourselves despairing? We can all remember, I think, in John chapter 6, what happened with them, when the hand of Jesus reached out to Peter as he began to sink in the water after he had taken his eyes off Jesus. Today, we can be thankful that his hand extends in our direction with the promise, I will never leave you nor forsake you, in Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 5. Have you ever been afraid of the dark? I think we could all say that we have been. Do you remember when Jesus gave sight to a man blind from birth in John 9? Uh, to those today who stumble in the, the wretched darkness of Satan and sin, Jesus is still the light of the world, as John 8 and verse 12 assures us. And finally, we know that the, in the book of John, there was a miracle involving the death of an individual. I think we can all remember when Jesus, in John chapter 11, stood outside the tomb of a friend, and he shouted, probably with tears in his eyes, Lazarus, come forth. But even better yet, we know that there'll come a day, as we read in John chapter 5, in which all who are in the graves will hear his voice and come forth. Great hope for us as Christians. As we think about the miracles that, that Jesus performed and the multitude of ways in which he touches our lives and encourages us every day of our lives, we can't, be, we can't help but be led to praise him as the King of kings and Lord of lords, as we read in Revelation 17 and verse 14. This evening, if you need assistance in any way in becoming a Christian, in being restored, or in uh, seeking the prayers of the church for special needs, please come as together we stand and sing. <laughs>